Hello, I'm Johnny. Today I'll share with you guys my 2021 C8 Corvette uh, get an inch light coat. After I replaced the catback exhaust uh, stripe pipes. Um, and uh, I reached out to um, CCO Performance. I bought a kit, um, you know, to train the computer uh, bypass um, to read that uh, simulators on the exhaust. And after I put it on, uh, only um, the plug to go onto the simulator and this, uh, I haven't installed it. So my engine light code is um, gone. So now I want to share with you guys uh, what it is. And uh, I don't see anyone has post this kind of video on YouTube. So I think is, um, I hope this is going to help you guys out. Uh, to find out, um, you know, if you got in July code after you replace your exhaust with no simulators on it, um, you know, cut you guys short times, uh, have to find out or dealership. I brought it to one of my um, good friends. He worked at GMC um, dealership, he master mechanic. He got a computer on there. He trying to train the computer uh, to let computer to learn uh, to get rid of the code, but it's not work. So the only way you can get it done uh, cost you about two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Um, it said three hundred bucks from CCO Performance. Um, quick and easy. Uh, I just put the two plug on there and I drove it uh, for like around three miles and the engine light is completely gone. And I haven't installed the second part that they come in the pa a package. They require I have to have this in two thousand twenty one, but. I just put the other two plugs on there uh, to plug in where the simulators go on to um, and now the engine light's gone. So I showed you guys what it is. All right. And here, this is what I install on the plug. I haven't zip tied it up yet. This two right here, the second one. So now I go ahead and zip tied it up. But I tell you guys, uh, this is good. So you don't have to worry about um, engine light anymore and actually when this car uh, have the engine lights on the car run not good not smooth at all so and here's the the straight pipes uh, cap back exhaust it's look pretty nice let me show you guys the cold start on this thing and uh, one thing about the car when you have the engine light code on the car the car does not work with remote start the key remote start um it's weird uh it's it's, it's not uh the remote not even uh, function properly so here it is it's a cold start seen it no one July's on I put this exhaust on the car when the car have like around uh, roughly like around 800 miles on it and now it's had uh, I've been driving it in the last few days so I have 1271 miles on it now the car run really nice and strong and I don't know that uh, you guys um, have my other videos that I uh, I share with you guys the um, uh, the EFA intake air intake filter and this exhaust I made the car run a lot a lot uh, smoother uh, run really really nice and uh, I'm gonna have to move the car back out a little bit before I can uh, I can uh, put the um, try to zip tie the, um, the plug for the simulators on it and let me show you guys here it's a uh, sound really nice sound pretty good well um, go back onto the uh, EFA um, 
second generation air filter for this uh, TA Corvette. Um, it's a uh, lot. I think it's just better than the older one because the two ends were open and then a no divider in the middle of the um, uh, the intake um, air filter either. So uh, the car run really, really smooth and uh, run really, really nice. I really like it myself uh, with the exhaust and the intake. It's